What's up everybody, Benoit here. Welcome to another edition of Tactical Fellowship. The purpose of today's video is to find out just how much shake it takes to shake awake a Hollow Sun Red Dot site. Hollow Suns have a shake awake feature, which means that the site stays off when there's no movement, but then when movement is introduced to the site, the Red Dot turns on. But the other day I wondered to myself, would there ever be a situation where you would pick up your gun with the installed Hollow Sun light and then it wouldn't turn on? Well, I picked up my gun quite a few times and the Red Dot site turns on every time I pick up my gun. And so that's not gonna be our starting place because, well, it does turn on. So then I started wondering, how much does it actually take, period? What we'll be doing is using, in sequence, heavier to lighter objects drop from the space of a couple inches onto not the site itself, but the gun to see if that creates enough rattle for the red dot to turn on. We'll be using a Lego head weighing in at 0.565 grams, and then a BB weighing in at 0.350 grams, finishing with a feather that weighs 0.025 grams. Which ones will turn on the red dot site? Let's find out. So here we go, I got the Lego head. Place your bets. And there you go, it turns right on. Let's move to our next object, the humble BB. Place your bets. Apparently the Hollow Sun Shake Awake feature is sensitive, even maybe more sensitive than your girlfriend or wife. All right, and last we have the feather weighing in at 0 0.025 grams. Two taco bet. The feather will turn on the Hollow Sun. It'll be enough, the Hollow Sun will turn on. I've got the feather positioned a few inches above the M3K and we're gonna let it go and see what happens. No stinking way. The feather was not able to set this thing off. You know what, let's try one more thing. I'm gonna drop the feather right onto the Hollow Sun site, not onto the receiver of the Stoger. We'll drop it right onto the Hollow Sun and see if maybe that is enough. So here we go, place your bets right on top of the Hollow Sun. Red dot. And yet again, nothing, no stinking way. Well, and there you have it. It does take a bit, but it doesn't take a lot. I hope you appreciated today's little Grand Thumb Science experiment from the Tactical Fellowship Labs. I feel pretty good saying that as long as you are at least as sensitive as your wife or girlfriend, but weigh more than a feather, this red dot will be turning on for you when you need it to. Speaking of which, interesting observation to make is that if you have this site installed onto any sort of duty weapon or gun that is being carried with you on the daily, this site will probably stay on the entire day and then turn off once you take it off and put it in your safe at night, but that's saving your batteries and that's what you want. So this thing will probably be on all day because it doesn't take much to keep this site from activating. Well, this was a fantastic amount of fun and apparently I owe all of you two tacos, so now I will be broke for the rest of my adult life. So ah, it was still a good bet. So guys, gals, as always, write that shoe straight and we'll see you next time. Get this mug at the link above, get this mug at the link above, oh yeah, link above, oh yeah.